All right, good morning, scholars. Uh, today you're going to be looking at secondary sources uh, for your research project. This is something that you'll be doing throughout the year, and it's something that you'll be doing quite frequently in college, in grad school. You're looking for other people who have written about your work or your subject that you are investigating, and you want buddies, you want experts to back up your opinion. All right, so the school has lots of databases. I don't want you to go to Google and just type in your novel, The Virgin Suicides, or Huckleberry Finn. You'll get lots of things that are not academic. So I want you to go to, to the school, and then I want you to go to the Library Media Center, and then I want you to go down to Research Tools, because you are doing research. Then I'd like you to go to the Literature and Reading Databases. Click on that, and it has lots of information here. The, the first place I'd like you to try is Bloom's Literature. You type in Bloom's Literature, and it comes up just like this. And then let's just say you're doing Huckleberry Finn. So I would do Huckleberry Finn, and let's just say, um, you type in that, and then we have 648 articles about Huckleberry Finn. You just need two. Now, there's lots of information. As you can see, these are all essays, critical readings on Huckleberry Finn. You might want to, you know, some of you might just click on the first one. Uh, are you going to read all of these? No, you don't have that time. What I would do is scan through them quickly to see if this author writing about Huckleberry Finn mentions topics or a topic that's in your thesis. So for instance, if I'm doing Huckleberry Finn, I might want to type in like education. Huckleberry Finn and then education. That is now going to limit now 86 works. So now I've narrowed my topic a little bit and when I or by a considerable amount actually, and then I scan through this, and then the word education will be highlighted. So here, hopefully you can see this, if not, just listen to me. Um, we can see Huck's naive goodness must yield to self-reflection, Twain documents Huck's development of education in the course of the adventures. So if you're doing Huckleberry Finn, which I know some of you are, this might be a good quote that you would copy say copy, and then paste into your Google Drive, into your document. So you would use this in your presentation. All right. Of course, you would need to cite that. Okay. And it's, uh, this is in Huckleberry Finn and Twain's Democratic Art of Writing. Uh, the author is Mary Nichols. Uh, it's from The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, updated edition, Bloom's Critical Reading Interpretations. And if you click down all the way to the bottom, you see the citation, uh, how to cite, and it's all right here. Right? So you would copy paste that, put it in your Google Drive. Eventually I'll teach you how to actually do the citation, but for this project I want it to be quick, I want it to be relatively easy, and to get a foothold into, put your foot into the research without having to be a 10-15 page research project. You'll be getting them quite frequently in college. All right? um, if you're having trouble, let's try a, a contemporary novel like The Virgin Suicides. There are other databases, though, you can use here. It doesn't have to be Bloom's Literature. The Virgin Suicides, I can spell that. All right, and then we have 193 articles on The Virgin Suicides. Um, so again, you want to do virgin suicides and then maybe a key word or a term to narrow that search. Uh, if not, you can just go through it, scan through it to try to get some background information. Uh, you can get information about the author. You know, why does the author write about this topic? Maybe he had suicide in the family. Maybe he knew of a girl uh, he grew up with who was a suicide and he decided to write this. That information could be very good in your presentation. All right. Um, take this period with your partners and look through Bloom's literature or through the other databases. For instance, we can uh, click back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Whoop. 
We go to, say, Cambridge or Literary Resource Center, Literature Resource Center. All of these would be effective. You could also use a book review, but I don't want it to be on Goodreads or Amazon or Barnes & Noble. If it's from the New York Times, it's, if it's from the Philadelphia Inquirer or the London Times Literary Supplement, those types of professional book reviews are fine, especially for contemporary novels. That means novels written in the last, say, 20 years. Some novels that were just written would, might be hard to find on these databases, but if you're having trouble finding information on these databases, come to me. You could also look at newspaper databases and see if there's a book review. All right, also, you can type in the book if you want to and try it in Google and then type in New York Times or the Philadelphia Inquirer. That might narrow your search or book reviews and it might be another you know, newspaper or magazine. All right, but it needs to be academic. It can't be from some source that there's no author. I do want an author with the article. All right. uh, come ask questions if you have any questions. Thank you for listening.